work with people who have imposter syndrome? How do you help them? And I think I'm curious to see if you use the RTT to help them and how that pans out. So how do you help people with imposter syndrome? Absolutely. Well, my my 90 day rapid rewiring process is at the heart of it, right? It's really helping them understand where did that belief originate? Yeah. And then rewriting that belief, right? Because the truth is you are absolutely enough. You matter. Your voice matters. Your contributions matter. And somewhere along the way, so many of us forget that because we shielded ourselves, we protected ourselves from outside forces that felt threatening to us, right? And we forget these core truths of who we are. Mm. And so my job is simply to remind people, to help them remember who they are at their essence mm. and to allow themselves to put down the shields and the protective mechanisms that Amy, their amygdala, put into place so many years ago, yeah. right? Um, just to try to keep them safe because that's her job, right? It's just to keep you alive and safe and on the planet. And Amy exactly. can't discern, right? So as we become adults, oftentimes we kind of hit that wall, no matter what it is, uh, this isn't working for me anymore. I have mm. to do something different. Mm. And so when you hit that wall, the best thing you can do is start to look at, okay, well, what do I need to do differently? And what are the beliefs that are underlying that behavior that are actually yeah. causing the problem? Yeah. We've got to tame Amy. If not, Amy will tame us, basically. Yeah, she runs yeah. us ragged, man. She, she does. She does. <laughs> and uh, it, it's, it, I like what you said because the subconscious brain is so imaginative. You know, and I kind of use the example that just see how we human beings have created so much, created an airplane that defies gravity. You know, we are very creative but the same way we can be creative in positive things, if we don't control our subconscious brain, it would be creative in the negative things, which then can present itself as imposter syndrome. And it's, it's really interesting, the stories that people tell themselves when it comes to things like imposter. And, and, not, and it's all perceived, it's not real. And the fact is that you did mention this at the beginning, that the subconscious brain doesn't know the difference between perceived and factual. So we are the ones that have to do that, you know, and, and I, I think you using the RTT is, is a, a fascinating way of really creating new wiring uh, in the brain and um, getting rid somehow of the um, negative wiring that we don't really need.